Dogman by Dave Pilkey. Dogman Behind the Scenes One time George met Harold in kindergarten. Nice to meet you. Me too. They became best friends and started making comics. Their very first comic was an epic novella called The Adventures of Dogman. Over the years, they made tons of Dogman comic books. Then one day in fourth grade, they got a new idea. They started making a new comic, Captain Underpants. Soon their lives got really complicated. There was danger, horror, and ridiculously convoluted plot lines. And just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, things got better. Hey, all the drama had come to an end. But there were still lots of unanswered questions. Where are our doubles? Where is Tony Orlando and Dawn? George and Harold searched their tree house for clues, but soon they got distracted. Hey, look, whoa, cool. It's a box full of old Dogman comics and we made when we were kids. Hey, I forgot all about these. They read for hours. Ha 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 ha. I crack me up. Look how you used to draw. Old school. And look how bad you used to spell. Well, what should we do now? Let's make a new comic book about Captain Underpants? Nah, let's do something different. How about a Dogman comic? Okay. And together the two friends wrote and drew and laughed all afternoon. George tried to spell more better. Harold tried to draw more simpler. And thus Dogman was reborn anew-ish. Class! Enjoy it! Dogman Chapter 1 A Hero is Unleashed by George and Harold Dogman by George and Harold Beep beep! Oh boy! My new couch is here! She's a real beauty, Chief! I know! We put it in, in your office. Thanks, fellas. I can't wait to be the first one to sit on it. Calling all cops. Come to my office. You can watch me break in my brand new couch. Oh boy, this is gonna be great. Hey, Officer Knight and Greg the dog. You got dirty shoes and dog hair everywhere. You're the worst cops ever. Get out of my sight. Oh man, Chief is really mad at us again. I wish we could do something heroic to impress him. Uh oh. That cop and police dog are back. Who cares? Aren't you worried about those two? Ah heck no. Check this out. Officer Knight is a tough cop, but he ain't got brains. And Greg the dog is smart, but his body is his weakness. Yeah, but what if they work together? Hmm, that might be a problem. Fortunately, I've got a solution. <laughs> Help! It's a bomb! Officer Knight and Greg ran to defuse the bomb. Hmm, which wire should I cut? Red or green? Okay, green it is. And so, schnip. Kablooey. Oh no, I forgot dogs are colorblind. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. And soon, how do you feel, old friend? Me too. 
Soon the doctor came in with some super sad news. Woo <laughs> hoo! I'm sorry, Greg, but your body is dying, and your head is dying too, Cop. Rats! I sure hate my dying head. But just when all seemed lost, hey, why don't we sew Greg's head onto Cop's body? Good idea. Nurse lady, you're a genius! Hooray! So they had a big operation. The doctor cut off Greg's head and sewed it onto Cop's body. What a lucky day! And soon a brand new crime fighting sensation was unleashed. Hooray for Dogman! The news quickly spread. Rats! I unwittingly created the greatest cop up ever. Fortunately, I know just how to stop him. The next day. Well, well, well. So you're the world's most greatest cop, eh? Well, you better watch your step around here, bub. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Get out of here! Poor Dogman's day had started out badly, but things were about to get worse. Ho ho ho! What's so funny? Today I'm gonna destroy Dogman once and for all. How? Tell me, what are all dogs afraid of? Hmm, firecrackers. Well, yes, I suppose that's true. But dogs are also afraid of vacuum cleaners. I built this baby last night. Gee, I think firecrackers would have been easier. Who asked you? You did. Ah. This has thousands of dollars of the latest technology. Firecrackers only cost five bucks. Enough with the firecrackers. This is way cooler. And once I turn it on, it will chase Dogman. And it won't stop until he gets sucked up. <laughs> Yee-hoo! Oh, dog man. Let's get ready to rumba. Go on and run. You haven't got a chance. This vacuum has a 6,000 horsepower motor and endless power supply. And the bag expands so it can suck up almost anything. When Dogman heard the word almost, he got an idea. Ocean? City? Boom. Dude, that giant vacuum cleaner just swallowed my surfboard. Bummer, dude. Splash! The vacuum followed Dogman into the sea. Hey, let's get out of this water, okay? I can't swim. Besides, this vacuum cleaner isn't supposed to get wet. No fair. Dogman dived down. So the vacuum cleaner started sucking up the sea. The big vacuum bag got fuller and fuller and fuller. Meanwhile, under the water, Dogman was losing the battle. Boom. The vacuum cleaner had won the war. Or had he? I gotta get out of here before this bag of seawater busts. Whoa! Boink! Boink! Pity grabbed on with his claws. Suddenly, the vacuum bag began to rip.
PT got washed away in the super tidal wave. It looked like this was the end. Hey, you saved me. You're not such a bad guy after all. I've got one word to say to you. Click. Rats. The tidal wave got smaller and smaller until it ended at just the right spot. Hey, cops. Dogman captured Petey. This calls for a celebration. For he's a jolly good doggy. For he's a jolly good doggy. Well, Dogman, I guess I was wrong about you. Put her there. <sharp inhale> Hooray for Dogman.